Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cox Clan. Today's video we are going to be doing something really fun. We have a problem at our house and the problem is we have way too many eggs. So today we are going to be doing the egg drop challenge where we're gonna go to the dollar store, give ourselves a dollar limit, buy some stuff and then have to protect the eggs from a really high drop. We're at the place where we're gonna drop them and it's super hot. We got my brother here with us. What's up? Sorry, <laughs> I zoned out. But right now, let's just go to the store and buy all the stuff we need and then throw it together. So we made it to the dollar store, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in one at a time because it's a tiny store, and we don't wanna be looking at what other people are buying and getting ideas. I caught it. So, caught what? I caught the fly. <laughs> to prove it. Well, not bad, not bad. <laughs> you get four dollars, and you have to buy something that you think will protect the egg, so I'll go first. Okay, at first I thought I knew what I wanted to do. I found something that might be better. So what I'm thinking is take this foam basketball, cut it out with a knife, and stick the egg on the inside. That's got to protect it. Guess how much money I spent. Three eighty-seven. One dollar. Goodness. Who's next? Go Carson. I wait. I don't have money. Okay, so what's your plan? I don't know. I'm probably gonna put the egg in between two of these. So I'll put them in here. Okay, here's your money. How much did you spend? 322. It's your turn, so let's go. What do you have so far? Jar of cotton candy and cotton balls. What we're gonna do right now is throw it together, everything that we bought. This is how many eggs we have. Full bowl full, and they just keep coming. We got sponges and, and uh, Tupperware. Balls. She got cotton candy and cotton balls. And I got a basketball. That was smart. You can literally just put the egg in there. So there's my little egg inside of its little hole, and then I'm just gonna put this on top of it. And then I'm gonna put it inside of this, so that this plastic doesn't hit the ground so hard. I made a little nest for my egg. So we put a sponge on the bottom and all around the side, and then the egg just goes in the middle, right? Yep, and then I'm gonna put the last sponge on top like that and then just clamp it down. Okay, so I am shaving the basketball, shaving it out, making a fun little cave in there for the egg to sit in. The bad thing about this is that it's a ball, and I drop it, which means that the egg is gonna hit like multiple times. <laughs> Did not think about that. <laughs> Good size hole. Like a glue. We're gonna go to a school that has big, tall bleachers and drop them from the bleachers onto the ground, so let's go. Okay, so we got where we needed to go. I know we said we were going to a school. We went to two different schools. The first one had band practice going on, so it would have been super loud. The second school had a bunch of construction going on, so we couldn't even make it to the bleachers. Where we're going right now is like a little bridge area. What would you call it? Overpass? Yeah, kind of like a little overpass. Not too busy though. It's not going to be on concrete. Like the eggs aren't going to be dropped on concrete. It's going to be on a hard, rocky path. It's pretty dang high. Way higher than like a two-story house or anything. Like this is serious. We're going to be dropping it from all the way up there down here onto this hard concrete, well not concrete, hard dirt, rocky area. Any predictions for your egg? I think my egg is gonna be A-OK. -okay. A-OK. -okay. Cotton candy for the win. I think my egg is gonna struggle a little bit. What do you, what's your prediction for yours? I don't know, actually. I don't know what to think about it. I hope it'll last, <laughs> I guess. Do you wanna go to the top with us or stay down here? I'm gonna stay right here. We are on top of the bridge right now. Tessie is down below and we have a GoPro down there. We're gonna try and drop them on the GoPro to kind of get a cool shot. The cotton ball, cotton candy mixture. Okay, here I go, ready? Three, two, one, drop. Three, two, one, drop. Three, two, one, drop. Yikes, it kind of exploded. Hers kind of lost some cotton balls if you see down there. Kind of lost a couple. Okay, mine is next, the basketball. It's gonna bounce and bounce and bounce. Three, two, one, drop. Shoot, it looks 
bad. Do I see guts oozing out? So there's mine. I missed the GoPro. Okay, he's dropping his uh, sponge container, whatever. Three, two, one, drop. It cracked? Yeah, oh yeah, you can see his guts. <laughs> There's guts coming out of this one and this one. Okay. No! <laughs> mine cracked too. Okay, look at yours, Carson. Yeah, mine is right here. Open it up. I don't know if I want it. Oh! Ooh. Oozing. Completely destroyed. Completely gone. Mine's doing just great so far. Shut up. <laughs> oh no, it looks like it's broken though. Really? Yeah. Yep, it's, it's filled. Broken. It like dissolved all the cotton candy yeah. in there. Mine busted as well. You can see it underneath the tape. Oh, okay, look at that. Completely shattered. But what I would have done differently, because it looks like my cotton candy like freaking evaporated. <laughs> evaporated. So she had no cushion. <laughs> what I was originally looking for inside of the dollar store was like a tub of Nutella or peanut butter or something mm. that would have been like more solid, but I literally didn't see anything big enough. What would you have done differently with your design? <clears throat> I would have kept the same design, but I would have put like glued more sponges on the outside of the mm -hmm. Tupperware Probably. container so it could have like absorb the drop better but yeah, yeah it's but you couldn't have done that because we only had three dollars yeah. limit so <laughs> that's true um but overall all of us failed absolutely no one passed if you liked the video you know what to do give it a big thumbs up and make sure and subscribe for and all comment. of our future content also comment if you've done this in school before because i never have and i, I feel never deprived. have make sure and give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button see we'll see ya, ya.